and welcome to the Clinical Entrepreneur Show, the show that's totally dedicated towards clinical entrepreneurship and building in a healthcare brand of positive influence. I am your host Meghna Dave, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you one single technique that can help you out in getting better in your game of clinical entrepreneurship. Coming up. Well, entrepreneur is a person who believes in himself and building a better version of himself and at the same time focuses lots of energy, resources and time in self-development. And I believe if you want to be a successful clinical entrepreneur, you should do as well. So how you can improve yourself every single day? So the first thing that you should do to improve and be a better version of yourself is doing a self-assessment. Hence, in today's video, I'm going to share share with you a very quick exercise that will help you to introspect yourself and figure out which all areas of your business you are good at and in which all areas you need to work more harder or maybe you need to hire some help or some measures that can help you in getting better at that game. So let's get started into this exercise. So the thing that you are seeing in this screen right now is a self-assessment questionnaire that focuses on different clinical entrepreneurial attributes. This self-exercise that you perform should be done at least once in a month or maybe at least once in a quarter. If you do this repeatedly, you will keep an eye on yourself, which all areas you are improving on and which all area you need to work on. These attributes that are mentioned in this table are business acumen, industry knowledge and expertise, subject matter expertise, people skill, decision making skill, problem solving aptitude, leadership skill and cool head. So now how do you assess yourself in all these attributes? So first let's see about business acumen. What does this mean? Business acumen basically considers all the things like pricing your service, double checking all your contracts in or else business terms along with people who are involved in your business, maybe your vendors, your service providers, etc. In order to assess this part, judge yourself where you exist. Do you think that you are wonderful at this? Do you think you are okay in this or do you really think you need to really work hard on this particular area? Once you figure this out, then you start working on figuring how to improve on this aspect of business acumen. The second thing of business attribute that you should look at is industry knowledge and expertise. Here, the industry knowledge and expertise means by overall industry knowledge. So, for example, if you are a physiotherapist or, or I'll say dentist, what is happening in your industry? What is happening in dentistry? What's happening in your physiotherapy industry? What kind of businesses are coming up? What kind of competition is there around you? You should look at how well you are knowledgeable in this area. From which direction the competition is coming? What new things are happening? What new technology is coming in your field? Or else what new things are being adapted by people? Or else is being demanded by people? Again, ask yourself this question. Are you good at it? Or just okay at it? Or you need to work much harder on this aspect of your business? The third acumen that you should look at is subject matter expertise. You should have a good understanding about the subject. If you are running a clinic, you will be dealing with people or else patient multiple times. They will have their own questions related to health. At the same time, you should also address with other doctors who are also working in your clinic. If you do not have proper knowledge of the subject, that you are addressing or else you are catering to, it becomes very difficult for you to communicate with them, to figure out what problems exist and how you to deal with that. So I would highly recommend to ask yourself, if you are a physiotherapist running a physiotherapy clinic, how well versed or well knowledgeable you are in the field of physiotherapy. Do you know what are the recent advances? What are the different protocols that are coming up in your physiotherapy space? Or if you are a dentist, what are the different dental aspects are coming? Or maybe if you are a physician who is running in polyclinic, do you know 
what is happening in your area in particular in your subject matter expertise because this is something that you need to discuss over and over again with your team with your patients every single time so do ensure you also have a good adequate amount of knowledge in your subject matter expertise so again ask yourself are you good at it are you just okay at it or you need to really work hard on this aspect of your business the fourth thing that you need to assess is the people skill this is an important one you need to deal with people every single time if you haven't watched my previous video where i have mentioned how important it is to have a good communication skill being a clinical entrepreneur this is because you need to build good relationship with the people and that requires people skill so ask again yourself how well is your people skill are you good at it to do some work on this area or you need to do some major work on this area you can improvise only when you know where the problem exists until unless you are not aware about where the problem is what the problem is how you are going to improve so hence it's very imperative to assess yourself fifth thing that you should look at is the decision making skill every single day there would be small decisions big decision that you need to take related to your business or else related to your clinic are you a good decision maker or an confused person or say mix of both you need to understand as an entrepreneur you need a good decision making skill at the same time and fast decision making skill you cannot wait for long to come up with a decision you have to make some instant decision and in some major decision you need to also take help of your mentors or seniors or colleagues so ask yourself how good you are in figuring out what decision you should keep in your hands what decision you should give in other people's hand and how you are delegating this sixth point is problem solving skill problem solving is again nothing but making a complex problem simpler how you are able to do it are you able to do or else are you able to solve a particular problem that's coming to you in a better way or as you need help you again need to look at the skill and figure out how you will get it better in this area seventh skill that you need to assess yourself is on the leadership skill how good leader you are it's not enough to be just a manager if you are a clinical entrepreneur you need to be a good leader how are your leadership skills are they very good if your skills are really good congratulations you are in a good journey but if you feel that you are just okay in that aspect or else weaker in this aspect i would highly recommend you to start working on that area and last but not the least cool head patience having a good control over anger anxiety getting stress free these are some of the things that you will require every single day because entrepreneurship is a journey which is stressful which is distressing which is lonely and at the same time it can be overwhelming sometimes hence it is very important that you should be able to maintain a cool head how you do this first ask yourself are you a cool headed person if yes congratulations but if you are somewhere where you think that you need to do some work i would highly recommend to figure out some ways that can help you in bringing yourself in a cooler state of mind or i'll say a peace of mind state so friends these were the some of the attributes that you should look at and self assess yourself as in how and where you need to improve i hope you find this video useful in upcoming videos we will discuss how to be more better in this different attributes of business so stay tuned with me on this clinical entrepreneur show on that note i'll sign off for today bye bye